these are the tactical points of Manchester United's win over Brentford. In the build-up and goal kicks, Brentford pressed with two players, two Manchester United centre-backs and Onana. He didn't try to play with the midfielders, instead he played long. When the centre-backs were close to the opponent's half, Brentford's midfielders covered the passing lines to Casemiro and Amrabat, while the wing-backs covered to Dalot and Rashford. This forced the centre-backs to play backwards with Onana. He usually played long because he lost confidence in the last games. However, some long balls from the goal kicks helped United to arrive to the final third thanks to the runs of Bruno and Mount. Also, his teammates don't help because when they receive the ball, they usually take poor decisions. Also, this lack of confidence was seen in Brentford's goal because Onana couldn't save it. Nevertheless, in the second half, he bounced back and kept Man United in the game. Another problem for United was playing off the ball because when Brentford recovered the ball, United left huge space between the midfielders and the strikers. This helped the opponents to progress through the sides. Also, this left the midfield unbalanced because there was huge space between Casemiro and Amrabat, while the centre-backs weren't close to the strikers. So this helped the strikers to wait for the midfielders that came from behind. The times Man United pressed high, the midfielders couldn't anticipate the opponents and this created a space behind them. Besides, the centre-backs didn't follow the strikers and this created many problems for the defensive line. Moreover, the strikers and midfielders weren't aggressive to anticipate or recover the ball. That's why there was huge space between Amrabat and Casemiro. Brentford usually attacked with the same number of players on the sides. For that reason, the centre-backs couldn't be close to the opponent's strikers. Brentford's goal started in a free kick for United. Maguire played fast with Casemiro, but he was surrounded by both strikers. The opponent intercepted the pass to Amrabat and Casemiro couldn't recover the ball. In the defensive transition, there was a space between Lindelof and Evans, and Brentford attacked this space. Lindelof intercepted the pass, but he couldn't clear the ball, and after a rebound, the ball went to Janssen, who was scored. For the second half, Man United fixed their defensive issues because when the strikers pressed, the centre-backs jumped to anticipate the passes and played fast with the midfielders. Hoylund was the best player for Man United in attack because off the ball he was aggressive to press even though many times his teammates weren't aggressive and this allowed Brentford to attack. Lindelof and Casemiro were on the sides of Amrabat in order to create a numerical superiority in the midfield. However, Brentford covered really well this zone. For that reason, United only progressed through the sides. Hoylund was the only player in the final third that made runs to receive the ball. When the centre-backs took the ball to the opponent's half, Hoylund was smart to read the spaces that the opponent left but when he was in the opponent's box, he was surrounded by four players. Furthermore, he was helpful in the build-up because many times he dropped back to create a numerical superiority. This free his teammates like Bruno Fernandes who received with time and space. Brentford did a great defensive work because when Bruno tried to drag one centre-back to create a space for Rashford, one midfielder covered him. This forced Man United to advance through the sides with Dalot or Rashford. Nevertheless, Brentford usually had numerical superiority. The opponent tried to cover the central channels, but when the ball was played to the sides, they had a numerical superiority. That's why it was important the movements of the fullbacks because they moved inside to free the wingers. This time Dalot played fast with Casemiro. He played across to Hoylund, but two men were over him. When Anthony and Garnacho came in, they made smart movements because they moved inside and this freed the fullbacks. However, the crosses made by the centre-backs didn't work. When McTominay was not playing, 
United only had three players in the box for crosses, but when he came in they had the same number of players. After a cross from Bruno, McTominay couldn't hit the ball, but Garnacho received the ball and played backwards with Dalot, who shot but the goalkeeper saved, and on the rebounds McTominay scored. The second goal came from a free kick, Maguire was coming from behind, no one covered him and he assisted McTominay. Leave your thoughts about this game, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. This video is brought to you by Play by Metric Sports, the fundamental tool for every coach and analyst. Create and manage all your video analysis in one platform.